As part of series to further create awareness among the citizens on the need to be vaccinated against COVID-19, the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, in collaboration with Nigeria Interfaith Action Association, had had a sensitization meeting with Muslim religious leaders via a virtual Zoom meeting. Plus TV Africa correspondent Destiny Momo reports. Islamic leaders across Nigeria at this virtual meeting organized by National Primary Health Care Development Agency are updated on the introduction and acceptance of COVID-19 vaccine being expected in a couple of weeks. The rationale behind this meeting is not unconnected with a series of viral videos discouraging the administration of vaccines. What really is the guidance from you religious leaders on the best way uh, to interact with community members so that they are better uh, aware, so that whatever decisions they are, they, that they are taking is good not only for their health, but it is also good for their, for their deen. Some Muslim religious leaders asked pertinent questions based on questions they have been queried about by their followers. As uh, religious leaders who are going to be uh, selling this whole idea to people, uh, the questions are many, but let me just ask a few so that uh, we'll get the response again. Are these vaccines being cheaped? Uh, are they cheaped uh, such that uh, once one gets the vaccine, um, you know, one is uh, constantly under surveillance remotely? These vaccines, um, could they affect fertility? Uh, male, female fertility. Why is it that uh, the vaccines meant for Africa are specifically marked? A virologist, Mariam Aminu, clarifies many of the questions raised. The vaccine is very, very safe. I can tell you that those vaccines are safe because they are made up of mRNA. mRNA do not have reverse transcriptase. Human, humans, we do not have reverse transcriptase. It's only when you have that protein, that enzyme, reverse transcriptase, that is when the vaccine can change your DNA, can be integrated into the DNA. For instance, HIV has reverse transcriptase. That is why HIV can integrate into the cell and remain with individual forever. That is why up to today, no vaccine has been produced against HIV. Keen observers posit that questions raised by many attendees are a pointer that more orientation are required to clear skepticism around the potency of the vaccines. Destin Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.